Oh, look. I'm gonna take a leak on the path. Got it. <laughs> but dum bum -tsh. That's a funny one. It's raining, it's pouring, and Punchwood is snoring. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm awake, I'm awake. Busy day today, despite the rain. Hope you brought your rubbers, because it's awfully wet outside. Uh, rubbers, they're, they're shoe coverings. Back in the old days, we used to put uh, literally r rubber slippers over our, f our shoes so they wouldn't get wet. Yeah, kind of like slippers, more like slip-ons. Anyway, uh, I digress. Let's get to work. Tomorrow's going to be a beautiful, sunny day. Today's going to rain, of course, and the spirits are somewhat annoyed. Of course they are. I don't care. We're going to make our own luck. Forget them who needs them. Oh, look at all the crops. Wow. Okay, great. Hold up. We have a lot to do today. And I need to get ready. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in my pockets is from our last foray into the mines and uh, fishing. Oh, crab pots today, too. Don't forget the crab pots. Please remind me. So let me just get ready here and uh, we'll be off on our way. First things first, let's get some copper cooking in the furnace. And we're going to head over to Clint's today, in fact, and get our axe upgraded so we can chop down some wood. And we also want to start thinking about summer, guys, because summer's right around the corner. Literally, in two days' time, summer will appear. By the way, I just realized that you can actually get different kinds of resources from the various types of trees. So a pine tree, for example, will give us pine tar with the, with the tapper. Now, we have one tapper on an oak tree right now, which is going to apparently give us some kind of oaky thing. I don't know exactly what yet. So that's something that we have to look into um, I don't want oaky things. I want I want maple syrup. What is that? Is something on fire? Is, <laughs> maybe that's my furnace. Uh, oh, there we go. Got it. So that's something that we need to think about. Uh, but I need a lot of wood to make more tappers. The tappers. So we're going to have to chop down lots of trees. And there's big stumps right there, which we can do with the copper axe. And that's why we're going to do an uh, upgrade today. Let's get our taters. Look at all these lovely taters. But no, I don't want to eat one. I already had breakfast. Grab some parsnips here. This is lovely. This will be our last spring harvest right here, guys. A few beans. Uh, awesome. So what do we get here? We got one very nice star... Excuse me. Star belly potato. We're going to sell most of these, in fact. Now, let me get ready to go to town because we have, like I said, a busy, awesome day today. And I have a plan... And I will fill you in in a moment, but I want to sell some of this junk. Actually, you know what? I wanted to sell these Silver Star Bellies, because apparently the Silver Star Bellies um, are not useful. You want the Gold Star Bellies. But that I'm going to save, because it's my only clan. Anyway, all right, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Hold on. All right, guys, just about ready to roll out, but let's take a look at the recipes here that we got recently. This is the Life Elixir, which is a sort of health and energy potion. Looks like a... A Red Bull. 200 energy. Wow. Except that I don't have any of the ingredients in order to make it. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. The tapper, we want to make two more of these. One for a maple tree and one for an oak tree. Uh, rather, a pine tree. I think I have a tapper on an oak tree right now. And we want that to make maple syrup. And we need the maple syrup to make a bee house. Which is something I want to get very soon. Like ASAP. So we need the maple syrup and an iron bar. The rest of the stuff we can get pretty handily. Um, so let's focus on that, and I think that's everything. And then, of course, the, uh, the, the, the speed grow, etc., etc. Now, it looks like some of the fertilizer is still in the grass, uh, in the soil here. You see that little purple dots? Yeah, exactly. So that's nice. It looks like it lasts, uh, quite a while. All right, let's go. So I have my five copper bars in order to give to Clint so that he can upgrade our axe. And it's going to cost 2,000 gold. We have it. We've got the geos here to drop off for him. I've got a cherry bomb to blow up. A blockage in the mines. We'll go do that. And I've got some gifts to give away today. And it's Emily's birthday. So I have a whole route planned out. Let's go. Go, 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 go. We're going to head down to uh, Emily's. But, oh, daffodil. I want to keep my eyes open for any more spring forage. Because this is it. Only two days left for spring forage. And I kind of want to have a couple of those in stock in the event someone wants one because that's what's going to happen summer's going to roll around and someone's going to be like hey do you have a daffodil and i'll be like i sure do and i hold up oh hey shane have a good day at work today we've got emily's birthday today now she lives with Haley, so we're going to head down to that house and go say hey and we have a hey a help wanted sign here a hey wanted sign 
The help wanted. Buying one dandelion at twice the market value. Please deliver directly into my hands. It's Marnie the Rancher. 120 G is on delivery. Okay, we can try to do that. To, maybe today, if I can find a dandelion. Because we're going to head down to the wizards today. Um, because we need to slay four slimes. And then, um, I think after we do that, we have to go chat with him. And, and today's the day. We have to do it today. It's not really worth that effort for 160 gold oh look lovely but it will be worth the uh the friendship that we make with the wizard so now let's go over to Haley's house it's kind of early um wait where do they live oh they're over here oh man I'm stuck but maybe we'll catch them before they go out i mean nobody goes out in the rain anyway so let's um oh look at that. that's a lovely daffodil let's give a knock here knock 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 oh oh what's this they're having a chat Oh, she's so mad. Urgh, I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. <laughs> Haley, why are you giving Emily a hard time? It's her birthday. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of work in the house, and you know it. Oh, man. Uh, hi. Sorry. Oh, it's that new farm boy. Farm boy. Listen, get it straight, Haley. I'm a farm guy. He has a name, you know. Thank you, Emily, for sticking up for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I help? Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. Uh, doubtful. But go on. Lay it on me. <sighs> I'm really sorry to involve you in this punch, but Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. Well, that sounds reasonable to me. It's only because, like, I cleaned them last week. <laughs> okay, guys, we have to tread very lightly here. It's two sisters in a spat. And we have to be as diplomatic as possible. Otherwise, we're going to end up with both of them hating us. Um, probably what's going to happen is one of them's going to hate us anyway. So let's see what the options here. We've got stop whining and just clean it. That's not going to be good for us. Haley, why not have this be your one weekly job? That's pretty diplomatic, right? That might work. And Emily, take the high road and do it this time. Which isn't fair, essentially. So let me... Haley... Do you use the couch? Do you sit on it? Do you eat on it? Of course you do, right? Then why not this be your one weekly job? Really? I mean, you, you owe that much. Besides, it's your sister's birthday. Here we go. I'm going with that. <sighs> I'm not sure she likes that. Rackus fracas farm boy. <laughs> All right. You win. I guess this can be my job every week. Then there won't be any reason to argue over it. There we go. I'm glad you took it like a real big girl. Thanks, Punchwood. That was a great solution. Yeah, well, you know, I'm kind of diplomatic and uh, it's your birthday and all. What the? Wow. Disappearing act. Okay, now that that's done, let's go give um, Emily a gift. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, she's sleeping. She went right to bed. She's so mad. I can get into her room now because we have two hearts. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, close that door. I don't want to go. That's way too creepy. Let's go talk to Emily. Um, Emily? Oh, I can't get in her room yet. All right, we'll have to wait for her to come out. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, let me just go snoop around Emily's, uh, uh, Haley's while she's asleep. Let's see what's up. She's got a camera. Oh, maybe she wants to be a photographer. She's got a book here. Found fashions, photos from the streets of Zuzu City. Yep, she's seeing what the city um, fashions are like. That's nice. Oh, she's up. Hi. Hi, Haley. I'm sorry. Oh, she's getting dressed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. I can't believe I walked right into her room. Yeah, she, she, she went right into bed because she was sulking that she has to clean the cushions. All right, I'm going to go give her... Haley, listen, I know you're upset about that solution and everything, but maybe this daffodil will make you feel better. <gasps> For me? Thank you! I knew it! Flowers make everything better with you, Haley, don't they? I'm so feeling an urge to go shopping. Ugh, I wish there was a mall here. Yeah, I do too. Uh, you can go to Georgia Mart. Uh, but I'd prefer if you shopped at Piers, because it's a small town and all. Okay, I'll let you get dressed now. Um, let's check. This is a vanity. <laughs> it's a deluxe vanity. There's all kinds of creams, paints, and powders dotting the surface. Of course there is. That's how she looks so good all the time. It's an empty diary. And you got a... What's this? A mini footin' bear. You got a footin' bear, don't you? What the heck's a footin' footin' bear? It's a footin' bear. You quickly peek into Haley's private dresser. It's stuffed with clothes. Okay. Uh, you have some lovely clothes. What's in your closet, Haley? She won't let me. She won't let me in the closet. All right, all right. Let's go. Come on, Emily. I've got things to do. Please hurry. 
Let's just do some fishing and wait for Emily to come out. I want to give her a gift. We got a hit. I'm after a catfish, so today's not a bad day to do that in the rain and a river. Whoa! Ooh, ooh, he's a feisty one. I got him. I oh no, I don't. I got him. Got him that time. Got him. Smallmouth bass. One more. One more. Whoa! It's a jumper. Woo! Oh, I got him. Oh no, that's a catfish. Get no! Uh, all right, forget it. No, no, no. Get out of here. Go. Enough fishing. I'm done. Oh, Emily's out now. Okay, good. <laughs> Emily, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emily. Happy birthday to you. Boom. You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. It sure is. I hope you like it. It never rains in Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. Sandy lives in the desert. I get it. All right, gotta go. Enjoy your birthday. All right, let's get out of there, man. Before I get in any more trouble. Uh, let's go over to Clint's. That's what I want to do. Go to Clint's and um, get the geos processed. And get our axe upgraded. And then we can get some wood. We need a lot of wood. Hello, Clint. How are you? I'm going to come back around here and have a man-to-man -man chat with you, okay? Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town, Punchwood. Yeah, same. Uh... Good talk. All right, coming around. Let's do biz. <laughs> I've got some geos here, please. One. Oh, it's green. Malachite. Oh, I, I don't think we've ever got malachite before, have we? And rocks. We've seen lots of those. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. What should I do with this? I think I should give it to uh, Gunther. Yeah, I'll go give that to Gunther. Oh, by the way, I'm not done. I want to shop, and I would like... Um, you know, I'm not going to buy the iron yet, because I still have to get the maple syrup to get the uh, the beehive. So, tell you what. Let me just upgrade my tools. I would like a new copper axe. I brought some copper bars. And here's your 2,000 gold. Thanks. I'll get that started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple days. Thank you. I appreciate it. Couple days, huh? All right, I'll be back. I was hoping to give it right to me, but I, I understand that, you know, blacksmithing does take some time. So, let's go into uh, the museum here. Oh, look, Patty's reading... <laughs> can I talk to her from here? No. Hey, uh, Gunther, I got something for you. Maybe you can give me something in return, huh? <gasps> oh, he will. New reward. All right, lay it on me, bro. Come on. Give it, what is it? Where is it? Give it to me. Collect rewards. It's, uh, melon seeds. Ooh, summertime. Perfect. Oh, hey, that was good timing, Gunther. Thanks. I really appreciate it. It's about time you give me something. Uh, what time is it? 2 o'clock. I have no time to talk to, to Penny. We gotta get up to the mines, like, ASAP. So we wanna check our traps up here, the crab pots, right? And also, um, kill four slimes for the wizard. And hopefully that won't take too long because we gotta get back down to him, and he's on the other side of Stardew Valley. It's gonna be a long run. Oh, look, the crab pots caught some stuff, but soggy newspaper and trash. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, wow, that's not very, that's not cool. Let's bait them. Apparently, trash likes to eat bug bait around here. Well, we got one more trap. Oh, this one has something in it. It's a crayfish. Lovely. Small freshwater relative of the lobster. Okay, well... We'll hang on to that for now, I suppose. Um, let's throw some bug bait in there. Bait them all up. Put the bug bait back on the rod. And now it's 320. And let's get into the mines and do some quick mining. And there's one thing I wanted to do, because I've seen in the comments that we can blast this blockage right here with a cherry bomb. So, ready? On 3, 2, 1. Short fuse, run! Boom! Oh, it did! <laughs> Oh, that's great. What's over here? Oh my gosh, it's a little guy. Hi, guy. Friend or foe? He looks friendly. Okay. Well, it looks like a Jawa. Hi. Oh, he talks. It's a dwarf. And he's speaking a language I don't understand. Toe ends on mass in Mulhitana is. Vamua is Piotics. Okay, I don't, I don't speak your language, dwarf. Look, we can be friendly with the dwarf. Oh, nice. Uh... I'm going to give him a gift. What, what what would a dwarf like? I'm thinking probably a pickaxe, some copper or something like that, but I don't have anything like that. Crayfish? 
No, I'm gonna hang on to that. I'm gonna give him a cool bean. Look, dwarf, it's a cool bean. You like beans? Here you go. Ah, uh, who's nimus me ohami? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a cool bean, right. I don't think he likes it. All right, I'll come back to him. Apparently, we've got to figure out how he his language. I think there's a way to translate it. But for now, we're speaking slime killing language. There's one now. We'll go down to level five and get short work here. Should make short work of this. We've got some bugs as well. And then we'll head over to the wizards. Hopefully, we can get this done fast. There's two slime. Oh, three slimes. We're going to need four. Dang it. All right, stand still, fella. This won't hurt much. Oh, we got a little ladder there. Perfect. And there's one another slime. Oh, we got music. Music. Yeah, when it's raining, there's no background music usually. Except clearly in the mines. Um, so I've been adding music. It's basically just, uh, you know, open source kind of music. Oh, I guess... Should we go down one more? I mean, we're done. All we have to do is... Whoops, where is it? Slay monsters. Talk to the wizard. And he closes at 11 o'clock. Yeah, so he's a late fella. Oh, so I think we should just do some mining real quick here. Listen to that awesome tune. And then we'll get out of here. And one more slime. Oh, I wanted to try something. I hear you can dig here. Oh, you can! Ooh, I did not know that. And apparently you can get artifacts. Oh, clay. Um, some ores and stuff, too. Alright, 620. Ow! Hold up, what is this thing? Oh, it's a topaz! I thought that looked a little different. Alright, now let's go. Let's just blow out of here. Leave the mine. 750. We should be able to make it back. And I'm thinking maybe we can even do one quick... Well, we can fish in the lake, right? There's a lake by the wizard. Yeah, I'd rather head over there now just to make sure we get there on time. And uh, I'm going to give Linus something. Hey, Linus! You in there? Oh, you're here! It's raining out! Have a bean. This is a great gift, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Oh, look! I'm going to take a leak on the path. Got it! <laughs> but dum bum -tsh. That's a funny one. Alright, so this is the shortcut. We're going to go right past my house. And the doggone dog be gone. I am going to drop some things off real quick. Yeah, we have time. Let's fish. Here's the lake. There's the wizard's tower right there. Like I said, he closes at 11. Oh, we got a hit. So we have a bit of time to kill here. And we'll see if we can catch some more pond or lake fish or whatever. Ooh, a new world record. Smallmouth. I don't think we can catch catfish here because that is one thing I want to catch in the spring because I don't think you can catch them in the summer. I'm not positive about that, but that's the rumor on the street. Ooh, ooh, swimming to the surface. Come on, we catch a fella. Perfect catch. Getting good at this. Another stinking smallmouth bass. All right, let's put it right here in the lily pad. Close enough. Trash. Oh, come on. Really? All right, let's go see the wizard. Caught four stinking algae. Hey, buddy! Remember me? I'm punched with the farmer. You know what? I'm going to take off my hat. It's impolite wearing a hat in indoor. Indoor. Never mind. Uh, okay, I'll be more like you. And hello! Journal updated. The elements are pleased with the job you did. Here's your payment as promised. <laughs> Why do you have to shout like that? Stormy days are the only time I can commune with certain elementals. I don't expect you to understand. Wait, you told me that we, we had that same discussion like two weeks ago. Get some new material, man. All right, done. Slay monsters, 160 gold. And maybe that increased our friendliness with the wizard. It's good to have a friend, a wizard friend, don't you think? Oh, look, there's a dwarf down there now. <laughs> there he is. We've got one heart with the wizard, and we haven't even given him any gifts this week. So let's give him a parsnip. I'm going to give you a cool bean. You look like a cool dude with a cool bean. There we go, cool beans. Many thanks! This item has some very interesting properties! It's cool beans from my farm. Of course it's interesting. What happens if I go in your circle of protection, by the way? Never tried. 
All right. Anyway, let's get out of here. I will leave you to your uh, brewing. And now it's 11 p.m. I think I should head back and uh, go to bed. There's really nothing else we can do. Could fish a little bit more. Could stop in and say hey to hey, um, Leah, but it's really late. Let's just fish one more time. Here we go. Something other than a smallmouth bass, please. I mean, I'll take anything because I can sell it, but... There we go. It's a bottom feeder. It's a smallmouth bass. I'm going to keep fishing all night. It's a tricky one. I think I can get a perfect. Perfect! Give me something good. Another smallmouth. <laughs> Alright, we're back home, and look at that fence. The termites were at it all day while I was away. Now, let's throw in that prize fish. I can... I don't think I need smallmouth for anything anymore. The topaz, I do believe... Uh... Oh! That's not an artifact, so I can just keep that or sell it or give it away for a gift. I'm just gonna hold on to it for right now. And I do believe it is now time to go to bed. There's nothing else to do today. I've accomplished all that I've wanted to, I think. So, let me just... You know what? I think it's probably not a bad idea to getting organized the night before I go to bed, right? And then in the morning, I'll be ready to rock and roll. Let's throw the trash in here. Rocks. I think that makes sense. There we go. All right. I'll organize for the morrow, the last day of spring. And now I'm going to hop into bed, and we'll see how we did. Ooh, level four farming. Lovely. Plus one watering can proficiency. I can sprinkle water on crops better. I'm getting better with my hoe, improving every day. Iron fence recipe, preserves jar recipe, and a basic retaining soil recipe. Lovely. And we got a new fishing upgrade too, plus one fishing rod proficiency. And we can now make the crab pots. Lovely. And we can make a dish of the sea. Terrific. Except I don't have a kitchen. <laughs> so the 27th of it springeth, yeareth, oneeth. Wasn't a bad day. Two grand today. Nice. And I don't know if I showed you that, but I did sell a lot of my crops. Okay. And that's that for today, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. The last day of spring.